index of refraction of the liquid crystal, and and we're able to then uh, create a change in optical power. There's three modes of operation. I can go like this, and that turns them on. I can do that, it turns them off, or I can do this, and that makes them an automatic. When it's an automatic, when I look far away, it's clear. When I look here, it pops into focus. When I look there, it's clear. When I look there, it pops into focus. We actually have a diffractive optic, and the diffractive optic has a layer of, of liquid crystal that's across the diffractive optic, and we're actually turning it on and off. That's, that's how it works. And, and by creating electrical potential across the liquid crystal, we have the ability to uh, uh, turn on and off that, that optical power. And so how is it detecting where you're looking? There's a micro-accelerometer. And so it, it's based on the angle of your head. Exactly, and it, it changes in seven milliseconds. So it changes focus three times faster than the blink of an eye. You see the, see what's, what's in here. Now if I turn it like that, Watch this temple. It will it will start blinking, and when it does, it's hibernating. It's going to sleep. So we'll watch. See it there? You see it blinking? Okay, it's sleeping, like your computer screen. And then if I turn it this way, it wakes up, and you'll see it will see the blinks. Yeah. That tells me how charged it is. Three blinks is is fully charged. Uh, four blinks fully charged. Three blinks will be three quarters. These are for these are are made for individuals that at least right now that are 40 years and older, uh, which is there's roughly 1.8 billion uh, uh, people in that age group in the world today, and it's growing very fast. And and that age group has a condition called presbyopia. And presbyopia is when you start having a problem seeing it near. And and uh, with those individuals, you want to have something that gives them as natural vision as possible, and bifocals, progressive edition lenses, and reading glasses, they, they don't give you, there's compromises. As you can see, there's absolutely no, um, you know, you can't see any electrodes or liquid crystal or lines. Yeah, there's actually 275 patents and patent applications pending around the world. So it's a real hard question. There's, there's so much that's gone into this to be able to integrate it, make it into a nice looking pair of glasses that, that uh, is cosmetically nice looking and that comes in all different types of fashion, uh, you know, styles and colors. Yeah, I imagine it would be a lot easier to just make big goggles that go Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So uh, what is, what's the increase uh, cost over? It's going to be 30%, a premium of 30% over uh, a higher end progressive edition lens and an eyeglass frame and a, an AR coating. Panasonic is actually manufacturing the uh, the lens blanks uh, for us. Uh, uh, you know, it's we we own the intellectual property. We did the original inventions, and Panasonic has helped us with scaling it up and, and making sure we have a quality product. We're we're actually going to be launching the product at, at Vision Expo East in New York City in March, and we'll be shipping product in April. Uh, we're, we're going through the normal channels of the optical industry. If everything goes according to plan, we'll be throughout the United States by the end of 2011. We'll be in Europe before the end of 2011. And we'll be in Asia sometime in 2012.